Duchina Master Herbalist and today is another video in the series for Z Natural Foods in conjunction with their um, <clears throat> Herbin Ed Superfood Education Program. <laughs> today <clears throat> Today's topic is going to be a really interesting one because as the on-staff master herbalist and the person who's in charge of education here at Z Natural Foods, one of the things I do is I get a lot of questions in regards to quality, quality control, and more important, when people associate quality control with whether or not they feel what they're supposed to feel from the product. One of the things I've learned and I've noticed over the years is is that there's a great misconception with what people are supposed to feel when they take herbs or they take specifically adaptogenic herbs. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go over a little bit with you folks so you have a clear understanding of what you're supposed to feel. Okay? First and foremost, and I think this is really important to understand, we live in a society that, for lack of better terms, we're kind of what you might call junkies. And the reason why I say this is because if you look on almost every other corner, you have a coffee house, a Starbucks, something where you have lines of customers going up and down the block waiting for their cup of crack, for lack of better terms. Um, <clears throat> and the truth of the matter is, is that while I'm not against coffee, I think coffee is a wonderful medicinal food. What I do believe is, is that I think it has almost misguided us on what a proper and healthy response to herbs is in fact supposed to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with you guys and girls um, what a healthy response is supposed to be. Okay, so when you start taking an adaptogen, no matter what adaptogen, whether it's Sassandra, Go Goji, um, uh, Ashwagandha, Maca, rhodiola, uh, holy basil, whatever the adaptogen that you're using may be, or multiple adaptogens you're using, you may or may not at the very beginning feel what you might consider to be a burst of energy, okay? Now I want to be clear about what this burst of energy is. This burst of energy is, the, is your body trying to find balance. And why it's doing that is, is that <clears throat> It's trying to find balance by helping your body to be able to have what's called a healthy stress response. The purpose of why we take adaptogens is to support the body's ability to have a healthy stress response. Okay, That burst of energy usually happens because our bodies are struggling to be able to have a healthy stress response. So the herb is supporting and almost overcompensating for the body in order to be able to bring it into a more natural state of balance, okay? What's gonna happen is over time, you're going to stop feeling that feeling. And it's not because the herb isn't working anymore. Quite the opposite, it's because the herb is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. What you should feel is a certain calmness and a certain level of balance in, the, in your mood, in the way you feel, in your energy. You should feel more of a sustained feeling rather than an up and a down, okay? That's what, that's what we're used to feeling from our cup of java in the morning, okay? And that's not what's natural and that's not what's normal. And as a matter of fact, over time when you overconsume things of that nature, and let's be clear, Coffee has been proven in many research and in many studies um, to be very safe and effective, but there is that point of no return where if you have so many cups a day, what it can do to do more harm than good to the body, okay? So, again, <clears throat> to get back to my original point, the thing that needs to be focused on is understanding what a natural, healthy feeling is supposed to be, okay? Um, I mean... The thing, that, the thing that I really want to drive home here for people to really understand and for people to really take home is, is that there is no association when you're talking about the quality of the herb versus what you're going to feel. Because an adaptogen is going to make you feel calm, stable. So you can't judge the adaptogen herb by the level of energy you're feeling, okay? Many times I get a question where the customer will call or they'll 
email me and they'll say, Mike, I use maca. And the, the first batch, I was like, oh my God, I feel all this energy. The next batch, I didn't feel that. It must be a lower quality. And th the quality had nothing to do with it. We were using the same exact quality. We were using the exact same people in Peru that we've always used for our maca. It had nothing to do with the growing process or the quality of the herb. It had to do with the fact that your body was in fact doing its job and the herb was doing its job by keeping your body healthy and stable. Now, what you might feel during that long-term process of using this category of herbs is every now and again you might get that burst of energy for a short period of time. What that tells me is that you're going through a very stressful time and the body is trying to compensate and keep you healthy and keep your stress levels as low as possible in order to be able to get you through that time. So remember, if you want to know what a healthy feeling from adaptogens and from herbs of that category are, it's supposed to be stable. It's supposed to be level. If you feel the burst of energy, it's because your body is going through a stressful time and the, and the herb is supporting the body to be able to give it what it needs to be able to make it through that time. Okay, guys, I hope this cleared up a lot of confusion, and I'll see you next time. Bye.